before go straight to the tool, I would like to share with you some uh, concepts about project management. When we are talking about art, we are referring to projects. So I believe that it's important to uh, share with you and state the definition of a project. So we can say that a project is a temporary endeavor undertaking to create a unique product, service, or results. And when we are um, pursuing, what we are pursuing in any art project is, of course, first control and elimination in the future. Also, any project uh, will have a cycle. And this cycle will consist in uh, several phases, initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. And we have several tools that we can use in each of these phases. Um, this specific tool uh, we use most in the, during the executing uh, phase and monitoring and controlling. So um, this tool is the ARC Reader. And as, I, as an Enrique mentioned it before, this is an extension of the ARC GIS to share electronic maps. Um, as we know, um, mapping farms in any ARC project is very important and one of the critical processes that we have. So the maps that we will generate uh, will help us to visualize geographic data by showing where things are. But even if we feed those data, these, these maps with data, we'll, we'll be able to, uh, to answer the question what they are and will help us to understand why they are that way. Um, this tool, the Arc Reader, will help us to uh, publish these uh, maps with a live connection in order to have an, a dynamic and interactive view of the maps. Also, it's important when the working group decides to uh, implement this tool, uh, it's important to generate um, a process on that. And I know that it's a small letter, so I'm not pretending that you read that. If you can, you are in a good shape, but um, no. But I just want to show the model that we use in, to implement a uh, process the we call the SIPO uh, model. And this is a tool to uh, improve design or redesign processes. And is uh, the SIPO model state for the supplies, suppliers that will have in the uh, process, the inputs that uh, those suppliers will generate in the process, then the key elements of this process, the outputs, outputs that we want to have um, from the process and the customers that will have um, those outputs. And I just wanted to show this uh, just in case you get exposed in the future uh, to this tool uh, when you work in implementing a process. Also, uh, after that we have a SIPOC uh, model defined, the next steps will uh, generate the process map. And um, I won't go further this, but this is an example on how can we uh, implement uh, the process. And of course, we need to start with uh, training. And it's very important that even if the coordinator of the project or all the members, depending what the working group decides, uh, get well trained on this uh, tool, and any person that will manage the tool will uh, get well trained. And also, um, once we got that, the next step will be to define what we call the critical to quality characteristics. And this is just the specifications that we want to meet with this tool. So it's very important because that will give us uh, and will cover the needs on the information that we will generate with these maps and also the interaction that we will be able to do and run on these maps. And even uh, beyond that, uh, we recommend that this uh, specification will update in, in a monthly basis in order to be covering the real uh, needs on, on the project. Once we have uh, the two decision points okay, the next steps will be uh, do the art reader uh, maps. In this case, um, Enrique, which is the manager of the art uh, GIS uh, software, will send that map in the base camp, and then those maps will be um, loaded and discussing, and then some action items will be triggered. So this is just an example on how the implementation can be. Um, I will show a video 
Um, okay. So this is how the uh, software looks. We have the toolbars and the data management tool uh, panel here. We can uh, check the sites to display the sites. We can label those sites with uh, the nomenclature of the project or even with the real name of the uh, site, depending on the confidentiality agreement. But we can have that. Um, also, we can display the main roads um, and the maps, even the main um, the main roads here, highways. Then the county's um, limitations of, uh, here. Um, also, we can have um, the difference, um, let me see here. Yeah, if we uh, group uh, specific uh, sites and we can use the symbols on the, um, the status and the type of farms, if there's a sow farm, nursery farm, finisher and the status, positive or negative, label those uh, farms. And then if we select a specific group of sites, in this case, our sow farms, we can generate uh, geographical uh, buffers, uh, one mile, three miles, five miles, whatever we want to uh, generate on buffers. So it's another capability that we have. Also, an important one is the information uh, button. So clicking in the information button and clicking in the site will display all the information of that specific site. Even if we are feeding with information about outbreaks, if there is active or not, the severity of the out outbreaks, if the sequence is available or not. So all that information that we can feed, uh, we, can get, uh, we can get just clicking in the uh, site uh, in the map. Another feature is the find. Uh, so if we, if, if we want to find some specific site, we click in find. And then we uh, type the name of the site <clears throat> here. And then we, uh, we put it as a site. And then we click in find. And then we have the site here in the search. We click there and we're gonna have the site in the map. Where, where is that site in the map? Okay. Also we can um, zoom in. If we want to zoom in from some specific area, we zoom in, zoom out. So there's the area with the different uh, sites, with the different buffers. We can label those sites. Okay, and, actually, and even we can change the uh, layers also. The most common is the census tiger, but we can change to uh, other layers like um, if we want more specific on roads or um, the most familiar layer, which is the uh, aerial, um, this guy. And then we can zoom as well and have all the information there. So basically this is um, what we can do. We can do much more things here. Uh, we can do uh, statistical analysis also. So we can have a lot of capabilities here. So this is just an example. And as a final thoughts on this tool, I would like to say that this tool the Arc Reader is uh, part of the first Arc and Elimination tool, Toolbox that we have available. Provides uh, GIS uh, users with a method to uh, share electronic maps, preserving the live connection to the data, having a dynamic view, and provides GIS advantages without a big investment to getting the software. Uh, this is a, an extension and it's totally free and without being an expertise um, on, on this. And also it's um, compatible with uh, other tools like BioPortal, as you can see.